Hello, my name's Bridget and I'm the vicar of two local churches, the Good Shepherd and St Peter's. Now I'd like to start this assembly by asking you two questions. My first question is this, what's your favourite food? And my second question is if you could share your food with anyone, anyone at all, who would you choose to share it with? Well, my favourite food is crisps. Not very healthy, but I love them, especially salt and vinegar crisps. And I would choose to share my crisps with my friend Leah, who I've not seen since the start of the year. If you like, you can get your teacher to press pause and you can share your answers about your favourite food and who you would choose to share it with. Let's keep thinking about sharing food and now I'd like you to use your imagination. Imagine for a moment that your next door neighbour is making tea. They open their food cupboard and discover that unfortunately it's empty. They've got no food. They come and they knock on your door and they ask if you would share some food with them. You open your cupboard doors and you discover that you have 10 tins of baked beans. What do you do? How many tins of beans would you share with your neighbours? Again, you might like to press pause and put up your hands and share your answers. How many tins would you share and why would you choose to share those beans? Now, when I've asked this question before, people have given all kinds of answers. Some people have said, well, I'd give them one tin of beans. And then if that wasn't enough, they could come back and ask for some more. Some people have said I'd give them five tins of beans, half of my beans, because then we would have shared it out equally. And then other people have said, well, if they had nothing, I'd give them all ten because I know I could go and buy some more. I wonder how you answered that question. Two years ago, there was some research done into hunger in our world, and that research showed that one in 10 people don't have enough to eat. In some parts of the world, the problem is so bad that one in four people don't have enough to eat. And here in our own country, hunger is also a problem. Two million people don't have enough food to feed their families. Two million people opening the cupboard doors and seeing that they're empty. Now, some of those people are refugees. Refugees are people who've been forced to leave their home country because it's no longer safe to be there and have had to travel to another country looking for help. When refugees arrive here in the UK they're given somewhere safe to stay and every week they're given a small amount of money to buy food and clothes and the other things they need. But for many of those people the money is not quite enough and especially those people who have families and many of them are struggling to provide enough food. So hunger is a big problem in our world and hunger is a problem here in our local area too. Somebody called Mother Teresa once said, if you can't feed a hundred people, then just feed one person. It's a way of saying there are some big problems in the world and it's hard to fix those big problems, but maybe we can start by doing something small. I can't fix the problem of global hunger, but I can look after people who live in my local area and provide them with what they need by sharing what I have. One of the small ways that our church has chosen to respond to the problem of hunger is by starting something called a food bank. And I'm here in our food bank now. It's like a giant food cupboard full of all sorts of things. And a food bank is a place where people can go if they need extra food to feed themselves and their families. So our food bank provides for 30 refugee families who live in Lewisham and Greenwich. And the way in which we collect our food is we get donations from local people, donations from local schools and donations from supermarkets. And we would love it if you would help collect some food for us so that we can share it with people who are in need. We'd be really grateful if you could collect some tinned fish and some tinned tomatoes. They're some of the foods that our families particularly enjoy. So hunger is a big problem, but if all of us do something small, 
we can start to change that big problem and help to solve it. Thank you for listening and thank you most of all for supporting our food bank. We are really grateful to you and we look forward to sharing the food that you bring into school with people who need it. Thank you.